sorry I got cut off towards the end of that, that uh, video in the first part. So um, as I was saying, um, when, we are, when we are able to um, uh, expose this part of ourselves in a safe environment, that vulnerable part, the part which is weak, the, you know, instead of our other self where we want to be strong all the time, the part that is weak, the part that needs love, and we actually are in a supportive community that supports that we can into we can be our full authentic self because we are not perfect we are still in this body we still have our fears but yes god can strengthen us and as a community we can build ourselves up so this concept of um uh, in the modern world, we deny our shadow self, and so we live very fragmented life. But actually, in the early church, uh, there are traditions where, you know, where we do not deny our weaker emotions. Where we actually um, confront it, even though it's painful, we confront it friendly, and we try to work through it. And at the same time, through this. Um, processing of the desolation movement within our soul uh, we also have coming alongside our spiritual directors spiritual friends spiritual mentors um, who we trust enough who know who we know who love us um, coming alongside us you know where we can actually confess our sins and be accountable to it so in that sense there is a healthy integration of the concept of the shadow self, the other part of you, into who you are, and so, and so actually, uh, the reason why I felt that it was the shadow self was useful was because I didn't encounter all these practices within the within the church where I'm from, and I think the enemy or man's ego or lack of submission has successfully divided the church so that we are separate from one another and we do not know what the other side is doing I think in all things, I'm not saying that one is better than the other but you know, the concept of best practices we take what works and we integrate it and we grow from that and I think, you know, um, all these practices um, the people who come up with these practices all have a heart of bringing us closer to the Lord who loves us and um, God didn't mean for us to live alone. He set us in families. He called us his own. He wants to reconcile us. And so, um, yeah, and so as the family of God, you know, we can help each other. And it should be a safe environment to reveal ourselves. Yeah, so this is my sharing today, and I love to hear comments. I'll see you in the next video.